Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and explain the effect of pH on enzymes. And if you're following the AQA spec, then you should be able to calculate the pH of a solution from the concentration of hydrogen ions. In the last video we saw that the rate of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction depends on the temperature. Enzymes work at their fastest at the optimum temperature. Above the optimum temperature, the tertiary structure of the enzyme changes. Now the active site is no longer complementary to the substrate, so the rate falls to zero. Scientists say that the enzyme is denatured. Now one idea you need to understand is that enzymes are also affected by pH. The pH of a solution depends on the concentration of hydrogen ions, which are also called H+. A solution with a low pH, for example pH 2, has a high concentration of hydrogen ions. However, a solution with a higher pH, for example pH 6, has a lower concentration of hydrogen ions. If we measure the rate of an enzyme at different pHs, then we get a graph like this. Each enzyme works fastest at a specific optimum pH. In the case of this enzyme, the optimum pH is around 7. This could be an enzyme which works in the mouth, for example salivary amylase. Other enzymes could have a different optimum pH. For example, this enzyme has an optimum pH around 2, suggesting that this enzyme works in an acidic environment, for example the stomach. Now if the pH changes away from the optimum pH, then the rate of the reaction decreases. Remember that the pH depends on the concentration of hydrogen ions present. Hydrogen ions can bond with the R groups of the amino acids in the protein. This includes amino acids within the active site, which form temporary bonds to the substrate. Because this can prevent these R groups from bonding with the substrate, this can reduce how effectively the substrate binds to the active site, reducing the rate of the reaction. Hydrogen ions can also bond with the R groups on amino acids in the rest of the enzyme molecule, and the effect of this can be to break the bonds holding the tertiary structure of the enzyme in place. I'm showing an example here. This shows an ionic bond between two amino acids on different parts of the enzyme molecule. Remember that an ionic bond forms between two charged R groups. If the pH falls, then the concentration of hydrogen ions rises, and the bond breaks like this. However, if the pH rises, then the concentration of hydrogen ions falls, and now the bond breaks in this way. So as you can see, changing the pH can break the bonds which are essential for the enzyme's tertiary structure. This can change the shape of the active site, making it less likely that the substrate can attach successfully. And if the pH changes significantly, then the active site may change shape so much that it's no longer complementary to the substrate, and in this case the enzyme has denatured. OK, now if you're following the AQA spec, then you need to be able to calculate the pH of a solution from the concentration of hydrogen ions. We calculate the pH using this equation. The pH equals the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions. Now this looks much more tricky than it actually is. If you're given the concentration of hydrogen ions, first you need to enter this into your calculator. Then press the log button. Be careful not to press the ln button as that's not correct. Finally, we reverse the sign of our number to get the pH. Here's an example. We're going to calculate the pH of a solution with a hydrogen ion concentration of 3 times 10 to the power of minus 8 moles per decimeter cubed. First, we enter 3 times 10 to the power of minus 8 into our calculator. Remember that another way of writing this is 0.000000003. Pressing the log button gives us a value of minus 7.52. Reversing the sign gives us a pH of 7.52, and that's our final answer. OK, here's one for you to try. I'd like you to determine the pH of a solution with a hydrogen ion concentration of 6 times 10 to the power of minus 7. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we enter the hydrogen ion concentration into the calculator. This is 6 times 10 to the power of minus 7. In other words, 0 0.000000006. We then press the log button and reverse the sign. This gives us a pH of 6.22. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the effect of pH on enzymes. 